Hey guys, it's Melissa, the Cupcake Stitcher. I wanted to um, come and make a video for you guys today um, because today is Wednesday, June 20th, and tomorrow is StitchCon. So I know that when I go to StitchCon, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff and then I'll have another really long video to make. Um, and then no one will wanna watch it because who wants to watch an over an hour long video of me talking to myself to a camera. Um, but this is going to be a real quick one. I don't have too, too much to show you. Not a lot of haul, not a lot of life updates, um, quite a bit of stitching, uh, but only on a few projects. So, um, real quick life updates. I've just been working a whole lot, still working on developing some programs, um, at work, working some overtime, work, work, work. If you're sensing a theme, I'm really happy to have today, tomorrow and Friday off. Um, several people at work commented, oh my god, Melissa, you're actually taking a day off. I am. Um, I'm super excited about it. So, there's that. Um, my brother's doing well. I got to talk to him on Saturday. He's kind of bouncing back and forth between a couple different bases in Afghanistan doing some projects. Um, that's, yeah. So... There's that, and then the only thing that I've really done, I went to dinner with my friends earlier this week. Um, they were in my home, or where I live now, my town, um, getting their cars fixed, because we are Honda, Honda, Honda Central here. Um, Honda plant, I drive by every single day on my way to work. And uh, the only other thing, I went to a craft slash antique fair. Um, in Dayton about three weeks ago. Um, we got to hang out with one of my good friends um, that we've known each other since elementary school. Um, so she lives in Dayton and I, since I was going there, I gave her a call and we were able to kind of hang out for a little bit, grab some ice cream, walk around um, at one of the malls there in Dayton. Um, we get to hang out for a little bit. So I bought one thing at the craft um, show that's kind of craft stitch related, so I'll show that to you here in a little bit. Um, the show is called Vintage Market Days. Um, this one was specifically of Metro Dayton, um, but they do go all over the country. So they have, I think, shows almost every week, weekend. Um, it's about five bucks to get in. Uh, I. Even if I didn't buy anything, I think the $5 is worth it just to kind of go look around. Um, very farmhouse -y type stuff at a lot of the vendors. Um, this is my second time going. I went last year during their holiday one. Um, I'll probably go again in November. Um, they're going to have it one more time. Um, well, they might have it more than one more time, but they're going to have one more this year. And then I also think they have one um, in Hilliard, um, which is where I grew up and only about, again, 20 minutes. So it would be actually a little bit closer. Um, to me. I think that was in September. So um, I'll show you my one little piece of haul that I got from that that's stitchy related and um, we're just gonna get straight to it. So I've only worked on two projects. The first and the one that I've worked on the most, you can probably guess it, Day of the Dead. Um, this again is the shop on Etsy is now 447 shades of X stitch um, instead of addict to cross stitch. Um, so I've done two and a half pages since the last time you saw me. Where is it? Um, I already did this video once and then my hair looked way worse than this and it was making me not look good. So I redid it. Um, not that any of you are watching this, you're all stitching anyways. So, um, I've done two and a half pages since the last time I made a video. The last time I was working, um, on her mouth. I'm gonna do kind of slow paint up. So all this was done and I was working in here. And then I got her chin done. And the rest of the column done. So I am a little bit more than 60% of the way through. Um, the last column is actually a little bit more narrow. This one I think was a little bit wider to begin with. Um, and then the rest of them are about 50, but the last one's a few stitches shorter. So a little bit more than 60. I don't actually know how many stitches or how what percent exactly, but yeah. 
So I'm loving the way she's turning out. She looks so awesome. Love the colors. I'm um, actually quite pleased with the back too. So, I mean, you can totally tell what it is. Um, now, I'm not gonna show you close up, but there she is on the back. So she's going with me to StitchCon. I had some people that were worried that I wasn't bringing her. I am totally bringing her. I am just not working on her at StitchCon because this is too much thinking involved. Um, I did not want to make a mistake on this because if you make a mistake here, you're in big, big trouble, um, depending on how far you get when you realize that mistake. So she's coming with me. Everything's coming with me. I, I get to drive about two, two and a half hours. So I can really load up my car and um, bring whatever I want, which is very, very nice. I don't know if I'll ever go to a retreat where I have to fly because I wouldn't know what to pack. Um, so that was the first project I worked on. The second one was a new start and it is um, in Just Cross Stitch Magazine 2016. August 2016 um, and it's part of the Seasons in Chalk art um, series by Priscilla Blaine and Kathy at Hands On Design. Um, and so I started this one on Memorial Day for obvious reasons. It's called Stars and Stripe. This is probably one of my favorite ones in the series. Um, I finally got more fabric. I need to get started on the summer one. My spring one is still sitting up on my ledge over there. Um, but I'm using all the Call Ford colors except for um, the red is supposed to be Weeks Dye Works Watermelon Punch. The skeins that I got were very pink in color and I wanted a red. So I decided to go with 321 um, and it's looking pretty good. I grab a piece of paper. It's stitched on 32 count Belfast linen um, in slate by hand dyed by Stephanie. And here it is. So um, all I've done so far, the three little stripes, um, mainly, like I said, I've been working on my Day of the Dead piece. So, but pretty, pretty happy with my progress so far. Um, my friend saw it on Monday and she's like, you know, I told her that I was going to StitchCon or just set a cross stitch retreat. Um, and she's like, are you gonna be able to finish that there? And I was like, no. She's like, what do you do there? I'm like we talk. She goes, do you stitch? I'm like, eh, sometimes. Um, she doesn't get it. So there's that. Those are the only two projects I've worked on. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on at StitchCon. I'm going to take pretty much everything. I might take a project or two to kit up. Um, but just super excited about that. So the one reason that I really wanted to make a video today was to show you my StitchCon small. So I will be participating in the exchange. Um, I finally FFO'd it. I think I showed you the finish last time. Um, and it was um, Plum Street Samplers, the Jack Sweet Shop series. Um, and this is the Black Cherry Tart. I stitched it on 36 count linen um, in Winter's Brew by r, r Reproductions. And I was gonna take the pattern to Stitch Con um, to put on the freebie table. But after I finished this, I think I'm gonna stitch it again and make another one for myself. I still have enough fabric, I still have enough floss, um, backing fabric, and ribbon, and another tart pan to make another one. So I just love the way it turned out, and like I said, I think I'm really gonna make it, I'm gonna make another one for myself. So without further ado, here it is. So this took me way longer than it would take a normal finisher to finish this, but I'm very, very pleased with the results. Um, so let me bring it in closer here. This is my, I'm actually really proud. Like this is some super neat stitching for me. I did that SC 2018, um, one over one for obviously stitch con 2018. I hand stitched, um, I don't have a sewing machine. So everything that I did was hand sewn. Um, not that there's a lot of sewing with this, but with the, the bow, I, I that did involve a little bit of hand sewing. Um, wasn't super complicated, but again, took some time. I love the backing fabric. I think the maroon and the um, tannish orange 
really pull out the colors in my stitching. Sorry, I don't know why there's this haze over here. My kitchen light's on and it's starting to get dark, so that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love it in the tart pan. Um, if I ever get a bigger house, I would love to have a Christmas tree just full of these little tart pans um, as ornaments with, of course, stitching in them. Because who doesn't want an all-stitched Christmas tree? None of us um, that don't watch Boss Loop, obviously. Um, but yeah, so we got my two whips. Well, one whip, one start, and my FFO. So I got a little bit of everything today. Um, haul, I really don't have much. I've been saving my money because I'm going to StitchCon tomorrow. I don't know if I've said that yet. So um, I did buy a couple pair of scissors. I think Julie at Golf Coast Stitches recommended these. The brand, I don't know how to say it. It's B-I-H-R-T-C scissors. Um, and I got them off of Amazon. Um, they have a bunch of different options um, of scissors. I like fancy looking things. So I did end up getting, I got a two pack um, with some different looking scissors. So this is the first one. It's kind of a bronzy, um, bronze color with the little flowers. Super fancy, super cute. I need a scissor fob. I didn't understand the, the point of a scissor fob, but I have it on my real crappy, sorry, thread on these scissors for some reason. Um, DMC scissors that I bought at like Michael's or Joann's, and this was my stitch away um, scissor fob that we got to make. Um, and now I'm like, why don't I have a scissor fob for everything? I didn't understand it, and now you guys have turned me to the dark side. Um, and then this is the other pair of scissors. I really like this one. Um, it's not focusing. You get the, the idea. So again, kind of fancy looking scissors. Um, I haven't used them yet, so I can't really give you an accurate description of what they stitch like. Oh, it's got like an oil on them those getting on my stitching um and then the last little thing that i bought was um from the vintage market days i have no idea what you would call this but i love it um kind of like a lanternish i don't know does anyone know what this thing we would call it um so it's just a little glass metal thing um, it's got a door, so I don't know what that is. Um, but I have an idea of the patterns I want to do um, in it. It's a monthly birthstone types um, series. I want to say Shannon Christie Designs, but I might just be making that name up. Whatever it is, I'll link it below. Um, so she does the birthstones. It's kind of just like a geometric type pattern, um, but it's got lots of krynic and beads, and I love everything sparkly. I think it would be really cool if I made all of them and stitched the month um, and then made it into a cube. Um, and then I could put like some fairy lights in here. And I don't know, I just, I love this. It's so cool. Um, and like I said, I don't even know what it is. So. If anyone knows what this is called, let me know. Um, and that's about it. So if you are going to StitchCon, you probably won't see this till after StitchCon because it's almost nine o'clock now on Wednesday. Um, and we're all gonna be traveling and whatnot in the next, probably within the next 24 hours to get to Cincy. Um, if you are coming to StitchCon though, I can't wait to meet you. Please come up and introduce yourself. Um, I know I'm going to be doing that with all of my favorite floss tubers that are coming. Um, I'm just so excited. I actually had a really busy day today, kind of getting ready. I need to get an oil change for my car. Um, Steph and McKenna made the hashtag um, on Instagram, sexy for stitch con. So I went and got a haircut. Can't tell. Um, 
I went and washed my car afterwards and I was vacuuming it out and the weather right now in Ohio is disgusting. It is so humid. I broke out in a sweat in like two minutes vacuuming. Like that's how gross it is. Um, so my car is nice and clean and got some fresh oil in it. So um, I can drive down tomorrow. And then I came home and I baked. So I made cupcakes for everyone coming to StitchCon. Hopefully you like cupcakes because um, I don't want to take any of these home. I live by myself and I eat enough cupcakes and have a really bad diet. Anyways, I don't need like two dozen cupcakes to come home with me. So they better all be gone. Um, if not, I'm just going to start giving them to people or throwing them at people because I can't afford to eat another cupcake. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them in the box below. Um, I will probably not vlog or anything at StitchCon. I like to live in the moment. Um, and I kind of forget that my phone is there sometimes. I, I mean, I'm also not like that person that like, let's take a picture together. Um, you can do that to me. I'm just probably not going to do it to you because I don't know. I feel like when I say it, it's just weird and awkward and people don't actually want to take pictures with me. So, um, but I'm sure there will be plenty of videos, um, and footage and pictures from StitchCon. I think it's going to be amazing. So proud of Pam and Steph and Nicole and, um, Barb from Keepsakes for putting this on. Um, I heard it looks amazing. Um, can you tell like I literally can't wait I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight um, which is fine because I gotta get this posted I gotta finish my laundry down in the basement and I gotta pack and all these other things so I'm gonna get started on that so hopefully I can get some rest and I can wake up and go to StitchCon in the morning so I'm hoping to get there um, right when the stitching room opens hopefully I can uh, bribe some people to help me bring in cupcakes because um, bringing in 12 dozen cupcakes on your own is not very fun. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. Um, please leave a comment below. Thanks for sticking around. It's a much shorter video than my last one. Um, if you stuck through that hour plus long video, amen to you. Um, I really, really thank you. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, okay?